Hey, uh, welcome to our Facebook Live here on a Monday night, 7 o'clock. We're going to do a virtual open house of the King Estate. We look mainly at the furniture, um, but we're also going to be looking at a few things that people have had questions about. Never mind my eyebrows, they're uh, <laughs> like an untamed jungle. I was going to share this on my page if I have a chance to real quick uh, so that uh, one of my friends can see me doing this. But as most people are having, we're having uh, Wi-Fi issues here at the office because everybody in the world is on their Facebooks right now. All right. So that's all done. Let me turn that volume all the way off. Turn the phone around. And let's look at some of the things in the auction. We're talking about furniture tonight. A lot of some nice trunks. Great size, great paint. Let's start over here with the, uh, the pie safe. There's a lot of pie safes out there, but this one's pretty nice in that it has really nice punched tin uh, doors. Yeah, with star patterns, I mean, you see the star patterns from the backside pretty clearly. I think there are five stars per tin. Actually, there are more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six stars per tin, so that's a pretty cool deal. Um, and again, a good old piece of furniture, you know, pretty well, pretty simply made. I just pegged uh, nails in there. I pegged some nails, uh, square nails, but still nailed nonetheless. Cute little footstool. Quite a few pictures of that, but check out the, the, the mortise there and all that kind of good stuff. So some really interesting furniture in the auction. I want to point out one of these windows. There's really not much way to display them here in the office, so I hung one of them up. Just so you get an idea of the size. And also see they're basically a reverse painted four panel leaded window that uh, they're really well done. There's no signatures on them, we can tell. Uh, my son just got his phone. He'll be very happy when I get home. <laughs> William got an upgrade to his phone. A couple of nice paintings there. Including the Custis. I just love her quite a bit. A lot of people do as well. Really cool model. It's not really a dollhouse because it doesn't open. But uh, just a neat, neat house. I guess you call it a shotgun house. Goes all the way to the back. Or is that a mirror? Oh, that goes all the way through. But nice detail work on that. Somebody asked about the mission clocks if they run. This has been running, keeping time for quite for oh, 45 minutes now. And yes, somebody asked, is this really that small? And yes, it is. Uh, again, nice little English. Nice little English uh, wine cooler, basically, but it's too small almost to be that. A lot of interest, of course, in the really good French trunk. Got the labels, the tray, under the tray is the shoe rack. Um, good looking, looks like Louis Vuitton, of course, but it's Eau Etat which is the United States, although it's made in France. Nice little primitive table, neat smalls. Really like this little painted table here. There's a little the chippy paint on it, like the taper on the legs, the overhang, almost like a little pub table. Um, but too small for that, of course. The ever present hand sanitizer. Neat little primitive folk art painted pieces. Here's another piece I have sitting out. Um, a neat little barn. There is an extra fence rail. These just kind of slide in together. And these come right on out too. And then the top comes right off. <laughs> they strung the lights in it. But I love how the insides actually uh, has stalls in it for the horses or cows. I think that's kind of cool. And you hear the mission clock is a really nice time. Let's take a close look at our cabinet here. Nice square nails. Great antique original grain painting. Oh, check out that. Nice through tenons on the doors. Let's move the curtain all the way and see if the back gives us any, any secrets. Great old natural wood pine interior. 
you don't have to have the curtains on there if you don't want for your house but they do give it you know they give a little bit of privacy as to what's in there good original hardware again look at this beautiful wear exactly as you want it it's you know 120 103 year old paint job never been touched never been altered um and you can just tell they're from decades and decades and more than a century of use it's just worn so beautifully the warm patina on there is just wonderful same thing on the top, worn as it should be. And uh, pretty excited about it. A lot of people like the Christmas lights with good reason. Hey, Bruce, Chandra, and Tiana, thanks for watching. We're just doing a open house for virtual preview tonight because obviously we're not having in-person previews right now for our current auction. We're talking mainly about furniture tonight. But if you have questions about anything I'm walking by, just let me know or if anything in the auction has interested you as you're looking. That would be fantastic as well. We found out a ton of information about this miniature cabinet. It is just a miniature cabinet. And I know that because I talked to a man who knew, knew the maker. Constantine Hallou from Colchester, Connecticut. He worked for the Liveron family who are celebrating their 100th anniversary in the antique business this year. It's an 100th anniversary they'll never forget. <laughs> But uh, Nathan, Mr. Liberant, told me that Constantine made these for fun in his spare time. And he didn't make a lot of them. And he gave most of them away as presents. He was surprised that one came up for auction in Kansas City. Um, pretty neat piece. We've talked about it in every one of our videos we've done for this. But uh, every time I talk to you about it, I have more information about it. So that's kind of cool. The little round table was made in Iowa, and the label on the bottom clearly states that. And really like the chairs, have a nice verticality to them. They're higher than most dining chairs, and the angle on the back, on the back uh, spindles, gives it more of that height and uplifting look to it. Nice trade sign, really cool portrait. Neat display piece. This would be good mounted on a wall or sitting on a table or a back counter in a. In a store of some sort that'd be really cool for that great display piece people have asked about the eagle uh it's probably probably from a mirror it has you know screws in the back screw holes in the back um probably from a mirror is our guess but it could have just been a decorative element i'm going to set that right here because i cannot hang it with just the one hand but again just a neat piece well carved 1830s 1850s time frame so uh, a good antique eagle and most people really like eagles i really like this table it's not particularly old it's not particularly amazing i just really like the subtle hand-painted decoration not subtle but just you know unexpected hand-painted decoration on there really cool little rosewood pier mirror and matching table we did a we did several minutes on that the other day the Mission Oak file cabinet's working well. The drawers are nice, has an interesting little work surface on there. Also, quite a few people ask about the German portrait. Now, let me set this down here because it's, you know, it's, it's a beautifully done portrait, restored, obviously. I want to make sure, I'm going to turn this around and show you the back, but I want to make sure I do this with both hands and not just one. So I don't risk the frame, obviously. so you can see how it's been relined and, and restored and here's the partial label that we've mentioned it's in the pictures but you see she's her daughter was married in 19, 1857 to the royal proctor so there's some interesting highlights there those are probably from an old light bar that was on top of it that hasn't been there for a long time but check out the great early well, those are actually pegged. Those aren't nails. Those are pegs. Very interesting. Those are wooden pegs. Very cool. Just a great, great old painting. Great portrait. Love this. I, it just reminds me it's Italian for some reason. Um, some 18th century elements. I don't know if it's all that old, but it's got a lot of good early 
you know, nice pegging here, here and here. And again, those are wood pegs as well. So be in beautiful color and patina on that. What am I? Oh, have the wonderful and wonderful only because it's just so raw. This Elwell kitchen cupboard and, we, and so it's oftentimes it's rare that we have a name on there on a cabinet like this except for Hoosier. But all these little metal drawers, I thought those were replaced at some point, but those are all originals, exactly how this cabinet was made. Just looking, Laura. Well, thanks. appreciate you watching and saying something. If anybody has any questions, just let me know. We're just doing a quick walkthrough tonight. This will probably be the shortest of our open houses. Uh, did not work. Uh, somebody else asked about the Mission to a tall case clock. We do not know if it's working or not because it doesn't... Uh, I, I just don't always uncomfortable messing with the gears on the uh, tall case clocks. Wonderful dry sink, 1880s, 1890s. Again, wonderful warm patina. This has been refinished at some point. Um, but, I mean, hand cut dovetails, chamfer drawer bottoms. They even put a stop in the back quite a while ago so that it wouldn't go any further. Than that. Panel doors, raised panel doors, nice. And uh, let's see what the. Oh, yeah, through tenons again. Great construction technique. Gives them a lot of strength and stability for a long, long time, long lasting use. Both sides are the same. Very cool. Little chair. Hey, Marla. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. We're just walking through real quick on the uh, preview video for the King Open House. I had a lot of people ask about these sconces. I think the 1950s or 60s, based upon the materials and the look, but they got all the look. Neat architectural piece. And then the silk painting of the ship is really quite wonderful as well. And for the furniture, we have one little piece to really talk about, and that is the Victorian era slat garden bench. Good size, great condition, and looks good. It has a little paint on there. It could easily be left alone or slide another coat of black on there to make it leave in, but just neat, neat scroll of arms on it and everything else. So thanks for watching. It's uh, Monday evening. It didn't take very long at all tonight. But we're always happy to have, answer any questions you have. And if you're watching this later on and have questions about something I walk by, send me, a, you know, just post a message here. Uh, go ahead and send us a direct message or an email. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. And uh, excited about this auction next Monday. I think a lot of people, a lot of other people are as well. Got a lot of interest from around the country, a lot of registered bidders, lot views and everything else. And... Uh, Looking for 30 inch tall pedestal table for foyer small. Hmm. Nothing in this one. 30 inch tall. I'm trying to think what we have in house for the next auction, Marla. Uh, I don't think we have anything quite that tall as far as a pedestal. We have some others um, that might be interesting, but they're probably not what I'm envisioning you're looking for at the moment. But we'll definitely keep you in, in mind if we come across something like that as we're getting calls regularly hey linda thanks for watching well thanks mike good to talk good to see you guys on the video here um we're still getting calls regularly every day i'm getting calls from people looking to sell things prepare for after the pandemic scare not scarce necessarily but the pandemic situation has been resolved some slow down on shells <laughs> well i saw a marble top on side hmm there's nothing marble in this auction the only <laughs> interesting, I mean, that big chunk there is marble, but that's really not a table, it's just a piece of sculpture. Marble on the side. Hmm. Not that I can recall. Do you remember where in the building I was when you saw that, Marla? And some things like Tables are leading up. The building is not exactly in tip-top presentation right now because of everything going on. Amy is working from home. Um, I'm working in the office sometimes, but um, 
No, I don't think we have beginning. <laughs> In the front room when I first started, first started? More of miniature furniture buildings. Okay, Dan, uh, let me go back to Marla real quick. Uh, to the beginning. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll show you the things that aren't necessarily in this auction. Yeah, Matt, that eagle is awesome. It's like six feet across. Somebody asked us if we thought it was from an old ship, which is quite possible. Um, what's on the other side of this? No, I don't think so. Well, I can't think of anything. Oh, yes. Good call, Chandra. It was with the Victoria Mirror. The, the table with that mirror has a marble top. That'd be the only thing, except it's not a center table. It's a, um, a wall-mounted like pier mirror. Let me go back in here and show you what we got going on there. I completely spaced that right, right here. So yeah, that, that marble top goes to that table and they mount to the wall and then this tape this mirrors above it uh, really good high style almost French Victorian look to it so that's what was there Marla um, wish it was more along the lines of what you're looking for but I don't think that is although it's a killer thing right I mean look at this great size it's only about 24 inches across uh, it's a little wider than I am which is saying something <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh so yeah it's a neat neat thing so let me go back i think dan asked about the miniature furniture and the buildings yeah so let's go back here this is just this is really just a model it doesn't open um the top is affixed i couldn't get it to open anywhere that i tried and we weren't going to try hard obviously you could take it apart but that is not what we wanted to do i'm going to guess it was made in the 30s or 40s based upon the colors and everything else and so that is just, um, just it's a neat, neat thing. Love the, uh, there's a house in Hyde Park that has this kind of, we call it gator skin roofing. Or like an alligator or dragon roof, because it is green as well, green tile. Yeah, Mike uh, and uh, Matt, that eagle is great. I'll walk by that again real quick on the way out. But uh, here's the miniature barn, which is really cool. I'll put, try and put this back together one-handed. It, uh, <laughs> the barn is actually broken up into stalls inside the uh, the fence just slides in and then there's one piece that goes across the front uh, let me set this here these things are hard to put together one-handed of course it might even be hard to put together two-handed there we go <laughs> So you can see it puts together. And then here's an extra piece that I don't know if it went to that part or if there's more fencing or something. Um, and then the top here just sits right back on top. So that was made to be played with. Uh, my guess is it had animals and everything. Bill, yeah, the auction is Monday night. It's online now. Uh, we'll post a link in this shortly in the video description. Uh, but if you go to just our Facebook page right now, the very top lot should have a link to the auction, it's the King Auction. We have another auction online as well. Uh, our first rack auction, which is uh, uh, an exciting project. Uh, Remote Associates of Casey Auction Company is what rack stands for. And uh, we have two others in the works. So we're gonna start having other people sell on our platform and uh, we're pretty excited about that. But Dan, back to this piece here, which is by far the gem of the small furniture, right? Um, all of these little drawers, hand cut dovetails, hand constructed, chamfered bottoms, just like an old piece. So the um, the top drawer here on the bottom is signed. Yes, Stuart, there is a. You see, it's signed uh, K. Hulu, Colchester, Connecticut. Thanks for watching, Laura. Constantine, and I will go back to the, the Federal Eagle in just a minute, Stuart. Uh, Constantine uh, worked for the Liveron family. The Liveron family has been in the antique business. Uh, their 100 year anniversary is this year. So they know fine furniture. And Constantine was their, was their furniture restorer, repairman. 
Um, and in his spare time, he made pieces like this for fun. And I can't believe this was fun because it looks way too complicated to me, but he liked doing it. This was his own style, his own pattern. He obviously worked on antique pieces, um, but these are all his own shells, his, his, his interior. You see that these are actually shaped to the shell. Um, and uh, just a neat thing. Hey, William, thanks for watching. How are things in Jersey? Um, but yeah, this is just, we keep talking about this because everybody's just fascinated with it. The work on there, even has the candle slides. Um, and just a beautiful little piece of furniture. And uh, yeah, it, it blows anything else away like that that we've ever seen. The, the craftsmanship, everything is made like as an antique piece, hand cut dovetails. Chamfered bottoms in the drawers, all the drawers inside work, secret drawers. I just show you little slide pullouts and things like that. So it's pretty wonderful. Um, and Nathan, I talked to Nathan Liverant. Uh, he's the current head of the Liverant family in an auction com or antique company. And he was pretty intrigued by the fact that it got here to Kansas City. So here is that Federal Eagle. I think somebody asked about that. Stuart, yeah. So there it is. Love the carving, and this is really hard to photograph, so I hope you get a good sh good look at, you know, kind of the depth of it here. Um, the age, good old piece, layered, you know, one, two, one, two, three, four layers there to comprise it. Um, the front leg looks a little skinny, which is unusual. Doesn't look like it's been touched, but it's just like it's, I don't know. I'd hate to get that piece of chicken to the restaurant. <laughs> I feel cheated, <laughs> although it's an eagle, obviously. <laughs> but uh, great old back. I mean, good look, look at that thing. Everything is just exactly as you wanted on something that's you know basically a couple hundred years old. So uh, beautiful piece. Probably, you know, the assumption is these all came from a mirror, and this one easily could have, but we'd have really no way to know that for sure. But that's pretty much what it is, and, and one of the kinds of things that this family had, obviously. And then real quick, let me go back to the big eagle. Uh, the other day we did a lot of in, uh, looking at the big eagle. We took it up, put it on a table, turned it upside down so you could see the construction and everything. Uh, looking at it more closely, we think it's early 1900s and has been repainted and restored in the middle of the 20th century. Really strong depth. I mean, this thing is six feet long, but that's something like eight inches deep with the head right there. Um, if you watched the last video we did, I get really close and tight on it and show you a lot of the great details um, and, and the construction, how many pieces of board there were to make it and all of that kind of stuff. So pretty cool thing. And just, you don't see something like this very often, at least not in Kansas City. And uh, somebody speculated it came from a boat, which is very possible. It's exactly the kind of thing that you would see on an old boat. But I'll let you make your decision and turn determinations on that. So here we go. Neat little folk art frame as well in rough shape, but really cool. But folks, thanks for watching. We're going to uh, watch excitedly as this auction comes to an end over the next few days, the next week. I guess it's a week from right now. I'll be sitting probably here um, watching the auction close live. And let's see, is this thing still running clean? Yep, 720. So that, 720 on 420. <laughs> good, good little thing there. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you have any other questions, let us know. We'll answer them as best we can. I may or may not do one more of these videos, but we have done three of them now. Close to an hour and a half of preview for this auction. Um, a lot of good information in each and every one of them that shows different things. Uh, it never did really get into the scientific pieces. I could probably do an entire one just on that. Uh, you know, drafting sets. Let's see if I can do this one handed here. Another one there. This set is from the 1812 to 1840. Uh, it has the original label inside, the chagrin case. Uh, again, so there's some really just neat pieces all the way throughout the auction. This is an apothecary uh, weight set, bronze. Um, nesting cup set inside there. And here's another eagle. Uh, 
that is uh, basically a weather vane shape, but just it's beat up, but it's really cool too. So you can see it needs to have a new mount made, obviously. Um, oh, those are a lot of fun too. The hooked rugged, like almost, they're kind of like chair backs, but they're bigger than that. There was five or six of them that had hanging on the wall. Revolutionary ward loader box there. So some really cool stuff. Again, if you have questions, let us know. Otherwise, I'm going to head on home and uh, spend the rest of the evening with my wife and kids. If you have any questions, let us know, and we will see you all soon. Thanks.